Hi guys, this is the Average Down coming out with another video about what I have read. Now, about this, I'm going to be focusing on graphic novels for the next five issues, or the next five weeks, basically. So, these are my favorite ones. They are made by uh, Vertigo Comics. Of course, I'll talk about the Fable series. Now, a lot of people were introduced to the series. And with the Telltale game, which is excellent, The Wolf Among Us. It was an excellent game. And that's kind of what grabbed me too. And that's kind of what led me to my to the series. So I'll do five. Take a little break for like a couple weeks. And so then I'll jump back into it with the next five. And then I'll, I'll just keep repeating and repeating that until, uh, until I'm done. I believe there are 18 novels, volumes in total. So, but it's it's just one of my favorite series. Uh, this one is a, is a I actually lost this one at first. So uh, I I bought a, I actually lost volume one before. So this is actually new copy. This is a reprint, made in twenty twelve. I believe the original was in two thousand three. I believe. So. So, what what entails it uh, specifically? Well, it's in New York City. No, it's in this place called Fable Town. It's a place in New York. And there's still there's a lot. That's more upstate New York called The Farm. Uh, so, Fable Town is where all the fables that can disguise, like, that, that can disguise themselves as humans are basically just look like humans. And the farm is basically where all the animals and the fables that can't transform themselves to look like humans. That's where they stay. So, like, mythical beasts, uh, giants, and, and all that. Now, yeah, if you can afford this guy himself as a human, you can get what is known as glamorous. But they're expensive. Not only that, but most of the time they, well, sometimes they just don't work right or something. So, now what, now what fables are in these? Well, in the first chapter, at least, there's Jack, the one from Jack and the Beanstalk. Uh, there's Johnny, who's called Fly Swatter. He is uh, originally a frog. I don't know where he's from. But, uh, we got one of the main characters, Bigsby Wolf, who plays the uh, Big bad wolf in the three little pigs, but he is now a detective, a sheriff now. Uh, Beauty and Beast from uh, Beauty and the Beast. We got Snow White from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. She is the deputy mayor. Now the humans, slangily called uh, Mondi, Mondies. So if you see any money business going around, of course. That means human business. But they're actually, the, all the fables were forced out. Um, forced out of the, all their homelands by this thing called the adversary or the darkness. And it's taken over all of their, uh, all of their homelands, forced them out. So forced them into the situation. Now, Boy Blue is this guy who is Snow White's assistant. Now, Snow White, this is, well, you know, Snow White, you see, he looks basically the same, but this in New York attire. But in this comic, he's like, just never mention the dwarves, please. And also, don't mention her ex-husband, uh, Prince Charming, who, uh, is a, uh, is a flirtatious guy. She, she broke up with him because she caught her sleeping with her sister, Rose Red. So, he, uh, so Prince, well, Prince Starming, he's just a sleazy dude. Full of sleaze, like 98.7 sleaze. And he goes to this restaurant and he flirts with this waitress, her name is Molly. 
He flirts with her because he wants a free meal because he's broke. Uh, but he convinces her, of course. Uh, but then Snow White realizes something. Or uh, get gets something. Uh, she gets a message saying that her sister, Rose Red, is missing. And of course, the first person that Bigby Wolf and uh, uh, Snow go to is Prince Charming and they investigate him. Now, Rose and uh, Snow White never really hit it off. I mean, they did back in the homelands, but ever since they moved to New York, uh, they, they'd just been at each other's throats, basically. Well, ever since he was, Prince Charming was caught with her, they've had it at each other's throats. But they go to her apartment, because he is uh, notified as missing, and Bigby and Snow, they just see a whole bunch of blood everywhere. A whole bunch of blood, even for a fable, which is, which they're hard to kill. That's a lot of blood. And on the wall, there's a message in play that says, No more happily ever after. Now, Bigby is investigating the apartment, he notices that there are holes in the freezer. And there's a padlock that matches those holes. Oh, why do they need the holes? There's nothing in the freezer. Uh, and of course, they can make me arrest uh, Jack, who is Rose Red's current boyfriend at the time. Now, also, in chapter two opens up. It opens up with Colin. Colin, so one of the three little pigs who always uh, escapes from the farm and goes to Big B Wolf's apartment. Now, we find out a little more about Molly. She's a waitress, and her last name is Greenbaum. Prince Charming, broke as he is, decides to live with her. Now, Snow White is questioning if Jack really killed Rose Red. But, uh... He, he didn't. Big, um, Bigsby, Bigby, of course, starts hooking out, basically, or turning into Big Bad Wolf self. But, uh, he got to calm down, and he discusses with Snow White. And Rose is his sister. Everyone's a suspect, including you. Snow White lives on, and she actually meets Prince Charming for breakfast. Why well, would she do that? Uh, Prince Charming actually has a scam planned uh, for the Remembrance Day celebration, which is celebration of the day that they left the homelands. Um, but yeah, Prince Charming is just like, hey, you know, I want to make some money. Now I can sell my world title and my world detail the lands and the homelands for like 300 or for like a million dollars. Pretty much. Yeah. And there's this guy. Um, there's this rich guy called uh, Bluebeard that she's actually secretly engaged with him while she's dating Jack. Now, of course, that makes Big Beard, Blue Beard, a suspect. So, Snow White and Big B, they go to Blue Beard. And Blue Beard is on the fourth floor of apartments because he used a, a, used a spell to actually expand the size of his apartment. So, but Blue Beard puts a million dollar bounty on the person who made Rose Red disappear. Now, now it's chapter two, chapter three. You now, Big B recreates the uh, crime scene with all the blood and everything. Apartment just down below of hers. Uh, Snow White meets with the mayor of Fabletown, who is King Cole. 
and Snow White is questioning if Bigby really is a good detective. He just kind of throws stuff at the wall and see what sticks. And everyone's a suspect until they're not. Um, so it wasn't Jack who made Rosehead disappear. It wasn't Bluebeard who made Rosehead disappear. It wasn't some random black forest witch who made Rosehead disappear. It wasn't Prince Charming who made Rosewood disappear. It wasn't Snow White who made Rosewood disappear. That's five people who didn't do it that were suspected. But, uh, maybe it was the adversary go for six? Mm. Yeah, the mayor, he wants us all cleaned up by Remembrance Day, so, uh, everyone can focus on the party which brings in big money for uh, Fable Town. So, but Big B Wolf, he steals one of Zack's computers and <laughs> he wants Snow White to help Prince Charming sell his title and his land because he believes that selling his title and his land will drag out the real perpetrator. Yeah. So they all go uh, to uh, to the library or where the records are held or Snow White's office and her assistant is a buffkin. He is actually the, one of the flying monkeys from the Wizard of Oz. Now and also Bluebeard is meaning uh, is in the meaning and Jack is in the meaning because Bluebeard suspects Jack he starts attacking. But, uh, well, they're, they're on a jail setting. And I'm sorry. Uh, um, but Bixby is visiting the jail, a uh, jail cell that holds Bluebeard and Jack. Because Bluebeard suspect, suspects Jack. He starts attacking. And then that's when, because Snow White hears this, so the troll Snow White. Buffkin, his dude named Grimble, are coming. Now, Big Z was just like, <laughs> and it all in control. And Snow White's like, yeah, I'm on this horrible blade, which is from the Jaguarocky. But Big Z just kind of laughs off. He's like, there's no need for that. We go to the Remembrance Day, dance with me. And they get the horrible. Since the maybe Rose Thread is dead. So that's the end of chapter three. Chapter four. And of course Remembrance Day. Uh you know, Beauty and Beast are first to arrive. Prince Charming is selling his title and his land. He has a lottery system held up, so it's like you buy a ticket, you get a chance to win. And the more tickets you buy, the more chance you have of winning. Now, uh, Fable, now it's kind of disgusting in the past, especially on Remembrance Day, that the Fable has like, teamed up together too late to stop the adversaries, so that's why they had to flee to New York. You see a glimpse of Pinocchio, and he, he's like mad, and he's still on the blue fairy. He wanted to be a real boy, not, he wanted to be a real boy. But he wanted to age like a real boy. I mean, he's been a boy for like 70 years or centuries or whatever. But now the Merriman's Day Gala goes on. That's the dance. Uh, uh, Blue Beard and Jack even go, uh, even call him the pig. Uh, but Snow White and Big B Wolf, they dance. Then eat. But Snow White says something. It's a good food. It's locked up tight. Kind of reminds Big B of a padlock on Rosewood's freezer. But what was in that freezer? Well, Jack won the lottery. Uh, Big B Wolf decides to take a swim in King Cole's pool. Because... 
he solved it. And Red, Red Rose, Rose Red, is not dead. Not dead at all. In fact, she's there at the party. Now, how does it make me solve this? Well, you now he gets his famous parlor room scene where, where Big B reveals how he solved the case. Now he's just like, why well, would Jack be out of breath when he came and reported that Rose Red was missing when he parked us outside? You know, and the crime scene was obviously staged with nothing broke and last of top lower but it seems like it was meticulously meticulously placed so like no broken seeds or anything but they all were still on the floor now how was the blood there and there's so much blood that even a fable could actually die well, it turns out there was padlock on the freezer because Rose Red had sex I stuffed blood bags in the freezer. And she had a lot of people over, so uh kept padlock on the freezer, keep everyone out, and keeping the good stuff out of the reach of the hands. Now where does uh, Bluebeard stand in all this? Bluebeard didn't do anything, but he he was kind of uh, in a secret engagement with uh, Rose Red and had documentation to prove it. So, but Rose Red faked her death, uh, faked her death to get out of the secret engagement with Bluebeard. Whew. But he hoped to still get some money out of Bluebeard from paying for like. I don't know, funeral stuff, I have no idea. So he did lose out on a lot of money, uh, which Prince Charming paid for, because he got the million dollars from his, uh, from his estates and stuff. But he had to pay 100000 to uh to Bluebeard, so he only has 200000 and and now it's just like well now what's he gonna do it, it, he's gonna try to buy his title back from jack um well bluebeard still after all this wants to marry rose red but uh he can't because he technically broke his contract told his secret engagement to snow white and bigsby wolf bigby wolf I guess that's a technicality. She just didn't want to marry him. So that's how she got out of that. And then, of course, Bigby reveals to Snow White that he took her to the dance simply because he wanted to. Romantic. Um, wait, sorry, that's my trash can. Um, so that was, again, Fables, Legends in Exile. Now this was all volume one. And I, it's, it's really good. I love it. Um, I love the whole series. So uh, if you have read it, if you've heard of it, even if you have played the game, tell me how you thought it was. I thought the game was great. Yeah, tell me how you thought it was. All my stuff's in the description below. Uh, so like all my on my Instagrams. Uh, my Instagram is T R I P L three X X X Mayhem. My Twitter is Real Official. Re nah, no, it's not. My Twitter is Real Average John. My Facebook is Official Average John. I I try to combine Twitter and Facebook like like Twitbook or whatever. Maybe someone should invent that. I don't know. But yeah, tell me what you guys thought if you have read 
uh, Fables Volume 1, Legends and, uh, Legends and Exile, or if you have played the game, The Wolf Among Us. Comment down below. I'll be checking the comments and all that stuff. But besides that, I will see you all uh, next Wednesday, where I hope to do a review on Modoc. A video on Modoc. It's pretty cool. By the way, it's good. Go watch Modoc on Hulu.